Hello, welcome to Sarasota. I came over here uh, to visit the place and I met someone and I thought this would be interesting to share with you, especially for those people who are relocating from the US to the Philippines. I met this lady and I thought her work is limited to the United States. Well, I was pleasantly surprised that she does work in the Philippines as well. So I would like to introduce her to you but first, let me tell you the difficulty I had in fixing up my place after the turnover of my condominium. First of all, we came from the U.S., went to the Philippines. Our time was limited one month. And I had all kinds of problems getting the right furnitures, getting the right appliances, arranging for them to be installed. Some problem that commonly will be applied to you as well. And now, if you have a relative and you can stay with a relative and you are not limited with time, maybe you can do it yourself. But for those people who would like a better quality job and painless, I would say, uh, this is an idea that you might want to pursue. It's an option. It's an alternative. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Stay with me. I'm going to introduce to you the person that I met and I hope you will get the benefit of her services. Again, as I said before, I wish I knew her that she's able to do this thing in the Philippines and I could have taken advantage of it. But this is an option you can pursue to make life easier for you when you're relocating to the Philippines and trying to fix up your place. I'm going to let her introduce herself the services that's available to you and that's how we're going to begin now towards the end towards the end I'm going to show you samples of her work and you will be impressed you will see the difference between the before if you're doing it yourself and the after when you give it to the professional so Sam why don't you introduce yourself hello everyone I'm Sam Francisco and I am reside here in Florida um, before, I used to work in the Philippines, in Manila, and I have done several projects, especially uh, condominiums and single homes and some commercial spaces too. So I've done this over 10 years in the Philippines, and then I moved here in the U.S. and then in Virginia, and I've started working on it again with my profession as interior designer. And I've done several projects also in Virginia, and then I moved here in Florida. So I've, I'm a professional interior designer. My, my background of my um, studies is in, um, I studied and finished my interior design in University of Santo Tomas. And I am very proud to be uh, finished in that school. I had a very good training and um, very good um, experience in my profession. So, um, Vlogger Grandpa asked me about how to work on a project, a mm -hmm. condominium project. Like he had um, three bedroom and two bath condominium in Manila. And he had some obstacles and hard time to work with, you know, when they, turn, they received a condominium. Where do they have to go? Where do, how do they start with this? You know, how do they work, uh, find people to work on, on the installation? Or where to find or write the right kind of materials or purchase uh, furnitures? Yes, we have so much um, resources to find those places, but who do you need to work with or to pick the right person right. to work on, on your project? And it's really hard to work it on your own. So um, I would suggest to work with a professional interior designer and at um, uh, the same time, a contractor, which I've done it before. You know, I've been a contractor and interior designer and supervise the work of the whole, most of the whole project. Mm -hmm. And I'm also hands-on on arranging the furnitures or the artworks where they will place or the lighting fixtures. So I was um, 
putting all things together to make it really a professional look okay. and um, like a hotel feel, you know. You know, as the saying goes, let the money do the walking. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you just have to put up the money and let yes. somebody else manage yes. it. Again, if you are time limited, time constrained. But now, let me ask you some, uh, can you give them some idea on uh, the process, process that you go through uh, from the beginning? Like, let's say they contacted you, how they're going to be able to accomplish this. Mm -hmm. So most of my experience back in the Manila, um, we, we, I meet with a client first or we, they contact me and I ask them um, to meet them in, in, in to see the site, to do the site inspection first. Mm -hmm. And then we'll do some measurements of the actual space, take some photos, mm -hmm. and then I will give them an estimate or budget of the whole work or the scope of works so where the furnitures will be uh, purchased, um, the lighting fixtures, accessories, everything that you need. Mm -hmm. So do you have uh, representatives working with you in the Philippines? Yes, I have a team back in the Philippines that who could do and supervise the job also. Mm -hmm. But also, I'd rather work with them, um, with the client. Mm -hmm. And then I have a team back there who could work on that to did, execute. Okay, do they need to send you some data or information about the condominium? By the way, this, on, this is not limited to condominium. If you have a home, private home, mm -hmm. That's fine too. In fact, it might be better if you have a bigger house. Mm -hmm. uh, so will you ask them to send you some Pictures. initial information, picture and such, uh, so that you can give them some kind of an idea initially before you get into the detail work? Yeah, yes. Um, we do also um, work via online work or we do like a FaceTime, mm -hmm. how to communicate with the people and then also I would suggest like having a camera on mm -hmm. site you know so you can see what's going on and I like rather work hand in hand with the client updating what's happening with our space with the project okay so this is when you already have the project and work is being done right. you usually install a closed mm -hmm. circuit camera mm -hmm. so you can see what is being yes, done yes okay. and then they will give me all the information the updates of the project and then give, give it back to the client the update and um, normally when we before we start the project so I, once I give the estimate the budget and then we agreed with the whole project cost then they give me the 50 percent to start to mobilize the work mm -hmm. and then those kind of project like for a condominium let's say a three bedroom two bath will take a while about um three months to four months like like that because mm -hmm. you know like it takes a while to finish like an interior finishing mm -hmm. and it, it depends also what kind of scope of work will be right. done and also the shopping, the delivery, you know, it takes a while. So it's, it's if you're going to do it on your own, it's going to be hard. Yeah. Uh, so you put all the work to me and then to my team. So you'll just be like, okay, I'll just wait yeah. and until it gets done. Let me tell you the frustration that I ran into. Uh, I will order something. It's supposed to be delivered in a certain date. They don't show up. Uh, contractors are supposed to come in at, nine o'clock in the morning, they don't show up until mm -hmm. four o'clock in the afternoon and sometimes the next day. Nothing is done on time. Well, you know how the Philippine system is. You know. They just don't know how to work with time. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> There's no such thing as appointment. They'll come at their convenience. That, at least that is what I have experienced. And it's so frustrating because your time is limited. You're there waiting in the unit. For the longest time, spending your time, waiting for them to come, they don't show up. It's different if you already have your own uh, activity established. Okay, so if they don't come, at least I'm able to accomplish something here. But no, I'm waiting there at the unit and it's so frustrating, believe me. So, well, I'm sure you can appreciate that in the Philippines. So this is going to uh, take care of all this headache. And uh, I wish I knew about this before. And again, the result is what you can appreciate. So I'm going to show you some pictures of the before and the after of what Sam has done, okay? And this is only a sampling, so stay with me. Meanwhile, I'll give you the contact information uh, so that you can talk directly to Sam or send her an email. So here goes.
Hi, my name is Crystal and I just want to recommend um, to anybody who wants to redesign their house. Saul was very easy to work with. I had a lot of fun. She took a very outdated drab bathroom and made it beautiful and, and to my liking um, she took my personality and she figured out a way to uh, create something that I like and I'm very happy. That's all I have for today. I hope you, uh, you gained something in this video and uh, I'll appreciate it very much if you share this with other people who may be planning to do the same thing as I did. And uh, I'll appreciate it if you click like and do subscribe to my channel unless you have already done so. Thank you so much. Make it a great day and God bless.